it's early in the morning, but I could not drop this carrot for you guys. Oh my goodness. You know I'm doing these things for my son's wedding, right? Well, on his vest there are several buttonholes. I hate making buttonholes because I make lousy ones usually, or I take too long to make them and I'm not patient with buttonholes, let alone zippers. So, I have this beautiful vintage sewing machine. Look, I show you, it's right here. It's right here, look at it. There she is. There is my lovely Kenmore. Uh-huh. Yeah, and uh, she came with all, all the goodies. She came with zipper feet, she came with all kinds of pressure feet, actually. She came with um, the, her own cams, a whole set of them. I'm like really psyched about using those. But the, one of the things that she came with that I hadn't tried yet, and now with this wedding, I'm definitely trying it, is a buttonhole maker. Oh my gosh. You know, I get people ask me all the time, what's so great about a vintage sewing machine? Well, this is one of them. <laughs> This is one of the great things about this machine. This came with it. This can make one, two, three, five different size buttonholes. And it's kind of like the crock pot. You set it and forget it. And then you come back and it's done. But I just sit here and watch the thing. Because it's awesome. Um, and this is a teaser trailer. This is a little teaser short. Um, I know you're just dying to know how this thing works. I know you guys have seen one, and I've seen lots of them where people are like, they're selling them. Why? I mean, especially if I have a sewing machine that you can use it on. Huh? You can send them all my way, and I'll give them to my friends who have the new sewing machines that bought it for me, and we're all going to do buttonholes. That's right. You can do all kinds of things. I would rather do a zipper than a buttonhole until this. This changed my mind in two seconds. It took me about 30 seconds to figure out how to actually use it to where it was working because it had no instructions. So I had to use my, my noodle. My noodle was working. So if you see one of these gizmos, okay, and mine came in its original little plastic box because, like I said, sewing machine with the desk here came with everything I could have ever think of. And it comes with this thing, and there's this, and you have to have this plate, okay? This plate is what makes that awesome. Well, it make the, they make each other awesome. Anyway, so this is just a short to show you that this and this and your machine, those three uh, um, elements can make buttonholes. Perfect every time. Perfect buttonholes every time. I used to hate knowing it the old way, but when I do the full video, this is, like I said, this is a carrot. I'm just dangling it. Um, when I do the full video, I'm going to show you the difference between making them how people make them now with that other <laughs> sad gadget. Oh, anyway, I prefer this. Um, and I'll tell you the reasons why in that video. So get ready, because tomorrow I'm making the video on the buttonholes, because I'm going to be working on my son's stuff, some more stuff. And so we're going to do a, a wedding um, accessory segment, a couple more. Um, it's only 30 days away, guys. My baby's getting married in 30 days. When his fiance said, I can't believe it's only 30 days. I said, yeah, I know. So all you guys who are afraid of buttonholes, if you don't have a vintage Kenmore, get one. Get one of these. And you got to make sure that behind, I'll show you in the next video, there's a hole for this little guy right here. This holds it in place, and that allows it to do its thing. Make sure that that needle plate, or the, uh, the, the uh, table of your sewing machine has that hole for that screw to screw in. It lines up perfect. And you don't need a zigzag, but you just need to straight one. Oh, oh, oh. Nothing, nothing fancy, but this fancy thing comes out. Hey, you guys, hey, uh, find your joy, have some fun, and just keep on sewing, and I'll see you next time with the buttonhole magic.